All right, so this is just, uh, I guess this is learning is what this is. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, kind of a straightforward case, actually, when you really just zoom out and look at the life of this guy, figure out who they are. Now, in this typing process, this is an area where sometimes people can get carried away or they just lose sight of what's going on because they're paying too much attention to what somebody is saying in a particular context and maybe reading into what is being said too much. There's a danger in that because people can say anything. People can be trying to say something depending on the context. They want to hype themselves up or they want to focus on something, whatever. There's also the danger of the user, okay, the person who is typing, the skill of the user on understanding how to differentiate one thing from another thing. What does this mean versus what does that mean? So here in the case of Arnold, <clears throat> we'll start off with just, just the basic facts, the overall broad scope of who are we looking at, what's going on. What is Arnold most known for? Apart from, you know, he's got movies, he's got Terminator, he's got all this stuff. What is his single greatest achievement that pioneered everything? Well, bodybuilding. Literally being one of the physical specimens out there that was in Mr. Universe and Mr. Olympia several times, right? In fact, here's seven times Mr. Olympia. Also important here to note is that he did it. Notice the ages. Started lifting weights about 15. Won the Mr. Universe title by 20. 20 years old. So from 15 to 20. If you listen to him also in his interviews, he talks about doing boxing, doing soccer, things like that back in Austria. Doing a lot of that stuff. So a lot of very physical things. Things that are in the sensory world. Okay. Sensation especially SE, is even often referred to by Ashra as kinetic. Okay, kinetics, movement, motion. So it is taking action, it is moving, it is doing things, right? In its most literal sense. This is not somebody who's sitting around on his ass. He's moving, he's doing stuff, he's putting a lot of physical hard work into things. And he's doing it from a very young age which means that you can't say that he developed his SE. He took time to develop it over the course of his life or something like that. He learned to get used. No, he, he was very good at it and enjoyed it from a very young age. Therefore, SE must be very, very strong in this individual. It's got to be high, if not straight up dominant function. Some of the things, again, lifting weights. I mean, sometimes we talk about SE as defined as force because that's how it's looked at in uh, socionics. It's kind of using this term force really from physics, movement, motion, right, to produce force on the external environment, to move things around. There is no more obvious moving things around than a guy who's literally bodybuilding and lifting 700 pounds off the ground. I mean, you have to exert force. And through his own words, he talks about being born with an iron will, with a great ability to uh, really go after whatever he wants in a very physical, real sense. Which clearly he does. So, SE starts to look pretty damn high. Right from a young career. If you were to also then say, okay, he went off into movies and he did all these movies and this and that and the other. Okay. He became one of the most charismatic actors out there. He's definitely not known for being the greatest of artistic 
individuals with tremendous theater like acting chops no he's just he's a great personality people like the guy so even though you're hearing Arnold and he's coming in with that accent and it's like Arnold being Arnold in yet another movie we love him we love him he's got he's just a charismatic guy so to say that he has no charisma is bonkers he is also eventually became governor right, of state of California, massively popular state, very liberal state, became governor. What does it take to win an election? Well, it takes charisma. It does. It's kind of a popularity contest, right? All elections and so on are, you know, if you're likable, people like you, they're going to vote for you. You can be a dumbass, but they like you, right? You can be a sharp cookie, but if you're not likable, it's really hard to get elected. So the point is, he definitely has some charisma going on in there. He has the ability to affect people emotionally, make people feel good, feel a certain way, enjoy themselves, etc. He always had it. And you can see it in his old movies of like Pumping Iron way back in the 70s. Like he was very social. You see him hanging out, eating with the with the boys in the gym. He was close friends with Frank Colombo and um, uh, I forget this other guy's name. He had a whole bunch of other guys he talks about, training partners. So he was a very physical guy, very friendly, had a lot of people around him. Adding to that, if you think that maybe, well, SLE, you know, what about his personal life? Well, here he's been in three major relationships that they list on here. We know he probably had a whole bunch of women somewhere in between all that, but just the main three women. He had one here, first one back in 1969. And according to this ex-girlfriend that he had, who wrote a book, a tell-all, which he participated, notice something she said. Baker has described Schwarzenegger as a, quote, joyful personality, totally charismatic, adventurous, and athletic, end quote. I think uh, Baker is not the only one who would say such things about him. When you say somebody is joyful personality, totally charismatic, adventurous, athletic, that does not sound like an ILI INTJ at all. That is, in fact, the antithesis of an ILI. But it does sound an awful lot like an ESTP. Really could be. And there's other people who would say similar things, right? You keep going. Three major relationships that they wrote up here. A lot of he has an open relationship going on in one. He has something here where he was trying to two time a couple girls. The divorce, which if my memory is correct, he was like banging the nanny, <laughs> whatever, right? What can this look like? FI polar, weak connections to people. He can't really maintain them, it's not great at it. And you could dig deeper into all that. Okay, now, if you wanted to compare, you have to follow the model, right? You gotta stick with the model. Unless you're gonna say, well, the entire model is bullshit, fuck Socionics, I'm just throwing the whole thing out. All right, well, then buy Socionics. But if we're gonna play Socionics, then here's the model. Now, this is model A, the way it's broken down. You can do model G if you want, whatever. You're going to get to the same outcome anyway. But here, your INTJ, that's the MBTI description of it, right? ILI. If you are going to claim that someone is an NI lead, then by definition, by structure, they would have to be weak SE. This would be a one-dimensional function in its strength. It's very, very weak. Okay. Which would imply that really your allies are never very good at the SE stuff. And not only that, but they would be described as usually wanting to kind of like pass that off to other people. They don't really want to deal with it that much. Now, going to the gym every once in a while, you know, going out every now and again, doing some physical things every once in a while, once or twice a week. Yeah, okay, whatever. That's one thing. Living in the gym, 
going to the gym two to three times a day to throw around six, 700 pounds over and over and over again and doing that level of discipline for six days a week for years on end, that's way beyond any little limited SE you'd expect from an ILI. It's no way. So that doesn't make sense. We already mentioned he's pretty charismatic, enough to be elected, enough to make a lot of movies, enough to be one of the few guys to transcend bodybuilding and go off into a lot of different careers, by the way. That doesn't make sense. ILIs have vulnerable or polar FE, right? Really, really shitty FE. Now, some ILIs may be so bad with their FE that they just they don't even notice the emotional atmosphere. They they don't they don't get what's going on with people. Others are not that bad. They get it. They just don't care. They just don't give a shit. They don't feel like pleasing anybody or doing nothing. They don't want to change themselves to anybody. They don't want to soothe what they're saying to make it sound better. They don't care. It's just not interesting to them. They don't give a shit. So this just doesn't make sense. You can't have a guy like Arnold who by the age of 20 was already Mr. Universe. All that SE. And and he's an ILI? Can't be. He had that much charisma? Effie, and he's down here? He can't be. Doesn't make any sense. The entire model is broken at that point. Over here, if you could argue, well, maybe he's SLE. Right, ESTP, SE on top, right? Dominant first function. Well, that makes perfect sense. He was SEing his ass off so young. Yeah, makes sense. FE in a mobilized position. So it's not great, but it's pretty good. And it can develop and grow more and more as time passes. This is kind of what you'd expect for SLEs. As they get older, they kind of start trying the FE angle more. Makes sense. He's bodybuilding, and then eventually he moved into acting and, and all that kind of jazz. And then eventually, long after all that, he went into trying to be a, a governor. So shows the growth. Okay, everything adds up so far. There's even talk of him like nerding out because he knows a lot about muscles and the right exercises and he could coach people. Yeah, TE stuff, TI, TE. He knows how to do things, how to get shit done, right? Just the information. This is what works. This is not what works. SLEs can be very good at that. Almost always very good at that, right? TE, demonstrated function. Down in the id block. Okay, TI. So far, everything checks out. Everything makes sense. What was the one area that looked like he was shitty on? Well, his very personal life. Close friends, maybe his relationships, romantic areas like that look pretty messy in there. Didn't look good. All right. Well, you could put that as FI in the vulnerable position, the blind spot, the polar function. Right. That also checks out. So right now, everything makes sense. All the pieces fit. So if you had to pick between these two options, which one was he more likely to be? Nothing in here makes sense for him. Everything is all out of whack. You'd have to do crazy mental gymnastics to say that he's the one ILI on the planet who has incredible NI, yet his SE is also amazing. And his FE is amazing, which means he's the one ILI who has no weaknesses, no flaws whatsoever. You basically have destroyed all of typology by, by claiming that. It just doesn't work. But this would work. So, some of the things that he says, it's like, there's nothing really all that abstract, to be honest. There really isn't. Somebody having goals. Somebody says, I want to be champion one day. I would like to do this. That's my goal. That's not abstraction. That's not an I. If that's NI, then that is the lowest bar for NI ever. And every single champion, every athlete, every kid, whoever once said that he would love to be a champion when he grows up, that would be NI. They would all have NI. It's not NI. This is the life 
and style of somebody who wants to grow to be a champion. This is what is also necessary if you go into bodybuilding, a particular sport that requires you to pay attention to your physical body and then envision what parts of your body you want to grow more, you want to sculpt it more, you want shoulders more, whatever. It's what bodybuilders do. Been around a lot of these fucking guys. Like this is this is just this is what they do. This is what's required if you want to be in this sport. Okay. So there really isn't any deep abstraction. Nothing he's talking about is is difficult to understand. Him saying I want to be a champion. Yeah. You got it. That's very concrete. It's out. We know exactly what you're saying. It's not confusing. It's not difficult for you to translate that anyway. We know exactly what you're talking about. Knowing that a particular project or a movie isn't going to work, we know that that's fine. That That's just having competency and looking around and going, yeah, it looks disorganized. I don't like it in there. Okay. Right. That's not necessarily NI either. So, very important to keep in mind a person's entire biography. This is where the idea of the evidence from someone is so important. You want someone to say something and try to be able to back it up with as much physical evidence as you can find. Paying attention to someone's biography is very, very important. Very important. So in interviews, you also really want to make sure that you're asking kinds of questions where you're gathering biographical information from the person. What are you good at? What have you been good at and when? What things have tripped you up and why? Have you gotten better in those areas or do you just not? What areas do you just not seem to give a shit about at all? You just don't talk about ever and have continuously been a problem throughout your life. And this is the kind of, of questions and answers we're looking for. It's the most reliable thing you can go on. And I was going to play this, but you know what? Why bother? It just the point has been made. So check it out. <laughs> 